everyone, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. I'm so happy you could join me today. I'm going to be sharing the August 2015 Paper Pumpkin Kit by Stampin' Up. Uh, if you are not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, I'm going to have a link below this video in the description bar where you can get to my blog uh, and visit my Paper Pumpkin page to find out more information about Paper Pumpkin and how it works. But it is a monthly subscription club where this wonderful kit comes to your mailbox. Um, and it has everything you need for all these different projects. And this month's project kit is by far my absolute favorite one so far, so I can't wait to share it with you. Um, I will also have a link below so that if you want to subscribe today, you can. And actually right now, if you subscribe, Paper Pumpkin is 50% off of your first two months. So if you subscribe by September 10th, 2015, you'll get 50% off of your first two months. So that's a really great deal considering what you get in the kit. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so I went ahead and opened up my kit and these are all of the amazing things that came in this kit. So you have ribbon, you've got Stampin' Dimensionals, um, here's our photopolymer stamp set with some wonderful greetings. We have with sympathy, you've got this kind of cloud or bubble um, image, you've got with love, we've got some other images here, little curly looking graphics, hello and for you. Then you get a whisper white stampin' spot, which I'm excited about this. I've never used whisper white before, I don't have it. So this will kind of give me an idea of whether or not I want to purchase this type of ink. This is actually a craft ink, so it's a, it's a pigment ink and it takes a while to dry. Uh, let's see, we've got some 3M strips here. And we've got the directions, I'll show you that in a minute. We've got three boxes we get to make, which I'm excited about these two. I've never made any Stampin' Up! boxes. And they have some gold foil polka dots, which is so cute. I hope you can see those polka dots here in the lighting. And so you get to make three boxes. Um, we've got three note cards with these gold foil bows. And it's actually, the background is a pink ombre effect. So it goes from light pink all the way up to a um, darker shade. So pretty, you guys. And these are note card size, so they're a little smaller than um, a standard size card. Then, so you get three of these. Then, let's see, we have three more note cards. These also have the gold foil, and they are striped, as you can see. So three of these, so pretty. Then you get um, six banners, and pink, I, I don't know which color pink this is, and then kind of a vanilla color. And then you get your six envelopes to fit your note cards, which is great. And, okay, I already popped these out. Um, and then you get your um, tags for your cards, and you actually get 12, which you only need 9, so you have some extra. You have 3 extra, so that's pretty cool. And then, let's see, you get these little flowers, die cut flowers. There should be three sheets, right? Yeah, three sheets, nine of these. And then you also get some kind of fringe paper here. So hopefully you can see that, some fringe cut paper. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make one of each of the projects. Uh, so let's take a look at what we're going to make looking at the directions. So today we're going to make this hello card. Um, we're going to make the sympathy card, and then we're going to make the for you box. And I'm going to follow the directions exactly as it is because I love this kit, and I don't want to change it. And so you have that option to follow the directions or to think outside of the box. So let me get everything we need together. Okay, I'm going to start first by stamping all of my pieces using this craft ink. And just keep in mind, it does have to dry. So I'm going to use first the, let's see, I'm going to do the With Sympathy first.
have gone ahead and I hit these with my um, embossing heat tool uh, to try and help that pigment ink dry because it, it really is taking quite a bit of time. So I don't want to smudge it. So I got it as dry as I can for right now without warping the paper too much. You can see that it did kind of curl. And I've gone ahead and added two dimensionals to the back of each of these. And next I'm going to flip over my little banners and I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of these. Okay, so now that I've added my dimensionals to those, I'm going to go ahead and get those banners added to the front of each of my cards. Okay, so I've got my banners added, and I'm going to go ahead and give my cards a nice crease with my bone folder. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and let's add our sentiments. I'm going to do the with sympathy on this one. Oh, rats. I didn't put my dimensionals in the right spot. Okay, so I realized that I probably should have put my dimensionals in the middle, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, and so I tried to take it off of the back of this one and put it in the center, and then I kind of smudged it. Oh, well. Lesson learned. So for this one, I'm just going to leave the dimensionals on this outside edge and just go ahead and put it on that way. Because I don't think it, I think it still works fine. Yeah, so I could have just left it, I guess. I just thought that uh, maybe I made a mistake, but you know what, it still works. So, okay, look how cute these are, so cute. Okay, so now let's make our box to go with these cards. Okay, I've got all of my pieces ready for the box. So I'm going to start by creasing, making sure I have all of these folds nice and creased so that hopefully the box will assemble a little easier. Okay, so I've done all of my creases, so now I'm going to put the bottom of my box together so hopefully I can figure this out. Okay, well that was really easy. Okay, so you just slide those in. I hope you saw that. Let me try that again slower. Okay, so fold down this side first. Fold that in. Fold your two, your right and your left corners in. And then put the top flap over and push it in. And it just locks in place. Okay, so now we can go ahead and close the box. Perfect. Look at this. This is so cute. Okay, so there's our little box. And now you need 21 inches of ribbon. So I've gone ahead and cut and measured 21 inches. And I'm going to lay the ribbon out. And the directions show that this is where we need some of that 3M tape. Let's see. 2, 4, 6. Yeah, we need just making sure that's the right amount. Okay, so... I'm going to pull off a strip, one strip, okay, and I'm going to add this strip to the, I'm going to add it to this right end. Just like that, okay the backing off. Alright, and now I am going to, whoop, I, let's see, I am going to, okay, I'm trying to see here what do I need to do. Oh, I need to flip the box over, and now I'm going to put this box on top of the ribbon, slide it over, and I lay it across here. And now you wouldn't want to do this 
if you didn't, if it's empty. I mean, I'm going to use this box as a sample, um, but you would want to fill your box first before you do these steps, okay? So, ooh, this is kind of hard to do with it being empty. It just wants to smush up. Okay, so I'm going to try and hold this down, and I'm just going to squeeze it kind of, kind of tight, and then I'm going to lay it across. And you really do want to make sure you do the 21 inches like it says. Okay, there we go. And actually, look, this actually will slide off, so it's okay. I could still use it if I really wanted to. Okay, so there's that. So next, um, in the directions, we have to put together the flowers. So you're going to need a pencil or some sort of tool so that we can curl the ends of the flower. So I've just got a pin. This is a flare pin. These are my favorite pins. Okay, and I'm just going to start curling my ends. Okay, so I've got all three of my flowers curled. So now I'm going to take a dimensional and stack them all together. Okay, this is really, really cute. So cute. Okay, so... I hope I did that right. Okay, so, okay. My first paper flower. Okay, so here's that. So next, we can set that aside. We need this little fringe piece. And again, you can see how they've kind of cut it. So it's fringed here. So next we have to take our our pen or pencil and start curling up. You can see in the directions you want to start curling up, rolling up those ends. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so my camera died. So I was filming this video in the daylight and now it's dark. So hopefully the lighting is still okay. I had to charge my camera battery. So I went ahead and added some of that 3M uh, tape to the adhesive to the uh, fringe piece here and now I'm going to start just curling it up. Move some things out of the way. I'm just going to start rolling it, rolling it up. And I'm going to add a dimensional to the bottom. I'm just going to stick it right in the center here. Just like that. Okay, so let's bring our box in. Isn't that so cute, you guys? I think it's really cute. Okay, so I'm just going to bring the box in. That looks good. Yay! A little wobbly, but there we go. Look how cute. I think it turned out really, really cute. Oh man, I love this. Love, love, love it. Okay, so let's bring in all of our projects. We have our cute little box. Our hello card. And our sympathy card. So cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, I'll have all the information about Paper Pumpkin at the end of my video. Well, not at the end. Um, at the bottom of my video in the description box. So if you're interested in signing up or you just want a little bit more information, you can hop on over to my blog and visit my Paper Pumpkin uh, page. And it will tell you all the details 
so that you know exactly how it works. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'll also include my email down below. So thanks again, you guys. I really appreciate you, and I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.